So today, we're gonna talk a little bit about the market cap, a tiny bit about Bitcoin, and then I'm gonna more center this video around altcoins and how they have just been going absolutely crazy. And then I'm gonna give you a piece of some news that I think is relevant to talk about today. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Crypto Picks. Before I begin, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. And if you're not subscribed yet, smash that button below. Also, all of you smash that like button. I want to ask you guys, all my viewers, what do you want to see? Do you want to see more like top platform videos where I'll go top privacy, all kinds of different suggestions there? Do you want to see more coin analysis, more ICO videos? more market news let me know i am open to suggestions and i appreciate all of them post in my comments or come in the discord and let's just chat and decide what you guys think is the best route for me to take this channel so today's market cap we've hit 600 billion dollars from the beginning of the month we were at under 300 billion we have doubled already and it's not even december 20th it's not even christmas yet We've already doubled our total market cap, $300 billion more money inside here. This is ridiculous, super exciting. It shows that this space is just growing exponentially and who knows what we'll be at in 2018, one year from now, who knows? It's it's gonna be amazing. It makes me think, you look back early 2017, January, you see the, the gains there, it's humongous. People are like, there's no way we can make those gains again. But to see how much money is coming into this space, it seems that is an entirely possible for 2018 to be the exact same, if not better year than 2017. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin's actually been fairly stable around 18 to $19,000. I, I like seeing that it allows altcoins to actually do great, which we've all seen have been going absolutely nuts. First it was IOTA, EOS, then Ripple went crazy. Now just every single good tech seems to be pushing. So the real question is, where do I put my money? I feel that me and a few of my friends have been kind of doing it wrong and we're kind of chasing, trying to guess which alt to jump in. And I'm changing my complete strategy, which I wanna let you know a little bit later in the video. For now, let's talk about a little bit of alts. First, check out Verge. Verge was about 300 sats earlier, just 271 a little bit ago, was 60 sats about a week ago. As you can see, December 13th, under one penny. It is now five cents, five times gain in one week. That's ridiculous. I know there's a lot of people that hold a lot of Verge, so I'm sure they are celebrating right now and going crazy. Outside of that, Quantum has done great also. So Quantum was $11 about a week ago. About $13 about a week ago. It is $29.78. It hit $30 mark. Again, that's over two and a half times. ZRX, one of my favorite coins, which I actually don't hold any right now, which is super disappointing, went from 19 cents to 50 cents. This is what I mean. The good techs are jumping. Then we got BCPT, which I have a friend that was jumping in and out of this, going full 100% of his portfolio. I thought he was crazy. He jumped out and he kept FOMOing on the other coins. It's FOMOing is fear of missing out. He would jump into OMG, jump into this, jump out, back out at a BCPT with a loss. I don't know if he was in when it pumped, but this went from like 13 cents to 37 cents. I'm telling you, these altcoins with good tech are pumping like crazy. So another coin that I am super bullish about, super excited about is Dragon Chain. Now, if you were in my Discord, I would you would have seen that I was calling this one at 40 cents. Literally like two days ago, if that, right here, 49 cents, it was 40 cents. I was telling my group, jump in Dragon Chain. This platform will be amazing. I plan on doing a video on this one super soon. This is like Disney's blockchain is basically what it's known for. I still think the market cap is super low. I already have a fairly good amount, so unless it drops to about 100 million market cap, I don't plan on putting any more money into it, at least right now. So with that being the case, let's get to my new strategy that I'm gonna be doing. Basically, finding fairly cheap platforms like Dragon Chain, Neblio, etc., staking those coins if possible, and just leaving them. I've noticed, like I said, the good techs are pumping. So if you find those platforms or any coin that is, hasn't pumped yet and you know it's a solid project, 
I promise you it will pump. The new money is coming. There's no reason for it not to go up. I'm trying to get on the rocket before it ships. <laughs> I can't be bothered chasing coins, guessing which one's going to go up, which one's going to pump. It just takes way too much out of my day. It's pretty much like a 24 hour, seven days a week job to try to guess that. Majority of the time you're getting the wrong coin or you're just getting in halfway up the pump. <laughs> Cough Aeon. I put a lot of money on Aeon on accident, Ether Delta. God, I can't stand that exchange. I ended up getting two times more than I wanted and let's just say I am in the negative right now. But again solid project i am not worried at all so with that being said let's get to the news so the first piece of news i want to talk to you about is from coinbase there was an article talking about coinbase and it's from their ceo it shows or he talks about the account growth of coinbase has grown 30 times year over year and they're adding literally thousands of accounts per day the CEO goes on to talk about new assets being added to the exchange. So there's a bunch of talk about this. It doesn't seem to be completely forthcoming on specifics, but I mean, this is pretty obvious. Usually CEOs don't go crazy with news like this unless they know for sure. But he did state that companies have been giving a roadmap on how to apply to join the exchange. So he doesn't really go out of his way to say that for sure he's adding coins, yet some of YouTubers and just people in general will let you believe that. But he did confirm he is opening the doors for companies to apply and at least try to get on Coinbase. With that being said, this could be a very interesting thing to watch. A coin, I think everybody believes that a coin will jump immensely if it gets on Coinbase. And particularly coins like Ripple will see a huge jump. And this isn't because, oh, the market cap's already huge. It's because the coin is so low and new people love cheap coins. I am guilty of this. When I first jumped in, I jumped into Ripple instead of Ethereum, Bitcoin, or Litecoin because I saw how cheap it was. So the price per coin will bring new money in and they will jump in fast. Every time I talk to a new person, they talk about Bitcoin being way too expensive and they want to jump in Litecoin because it's so much cheaper. This or any coin, Ripple or any coin that is cheap in terms of price per coin, I think will pump immensely. The next article has to do with 2018 being the year that central banks begin buying cryptocurrency. The article discusses that currently Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zcash, etc. are nowhere to be found on the list of eligible instruments and currencies that central bankers are allowed to trade. With 2018 being different, G7 central banks will start buying cryptocurrencies to bluster their foreign reserves. In a nutshell, the G7 countries hold each other's currencies as foreign reserves, whether it be through special drawing rights, SDRs, or directly. With gold being the most accepted as the common standard of universal value. Basically, cryptocurrencies will fulfill a new requirement as digital gold. So to basically sum it up, this article goes on to say that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will be added to the list of eligible securities and, and currencies, and the central bank will pour more money into crypto or just start pouring money into crypto so g7 banks will be on board soon but they will do this in the dark because of course old habits die hard which if this is true this will be huge for us super exciting and pretty much what we all expected which is why we are even in this space because we know there is potential for life changing gains and it's among us let's get together let's make these gains possible let's jump into my discord let's chat about cryptos news and the future of this space come join us it's in my description below thanks again for watching my video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and i'll see you next time